I've got five lovely children. I, I couldn't tell you all their names off the top of my head at the minute, but it's an awful lot of kids, isn't it, five in this day and age? But my husband and I, we're committed. We're going to keep trying till we get one we like. And, <laughs> And Alice Springs, Australia, is in the middle of Australia. Uh, it's near, it's, has anyone ever been there? It's, it's near Uluru, uh, where the dingoes eat the babies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not enough of them for my liking. But anyway, that's where I come from. And I've been in London for a couple of days and I've been thinking about, I said, oh, really, Alice Springs is a lot like London, really. Uh, well, except for the tube and <laughs> the people and the buildings. But, you know, no, we're a lot like London. We've got a lot of, just on a much smaller basis, obviously. Like, we've got a, a lot of different facets to our community. You know, lots of small pockets of different types of people, just like London, but on a smaller basis, right? For instance, we've just got the one lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Not an awful lot of fun for her, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but we encourage her to stay, because <laughs> she makes us look more cosmopolitan. Um, <laughs> I've got to be very honest with you, our, our gay Mardi Gras isn't all it could be. It's uh, <laughs> pretty much just one lesbian <laughs> walking up the mall on a Thursday in November. And um, <laughs> well, the gay guy would love to march with her, but he's busy, he's doing all the choreography. And, um, <laughs> Pretty much counts him out. I come from one of the biggest Irish Catholic families in Australia. Like, my grandmother is still alive. Uh, she's 95. She had 11 children. Those 11 children gave her 40 grandchildren, of which I'm one. And so far, we've given her 87 great grandchildren. We're, no, don't. I don't know. We're like a tumour. We. <laughs> We simply can't be stopped. And we have to have a family reunion every two years in Australia just to ward against incest. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. We all meet in a park and have a good long look at each other <laughs> for our genetic safety. And, and we make mental notes, never, ever, ever have sex with anyone else in this park, ever, 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 for the rest of our lives. And if you could see some of the people in the park, it's not a big ask, it really is. <laughs> I've got the scariest Irish Catholic mother a girl could have. Like, her name's Deirdre! <laughs> That's a nice name, isn't it, for a scary Catholic mother? Deirdre! And I've got a dad as well, I just don't talk about it much in my act, because he's nice, right? But mum... <laughs> No, my dad's like the background dad. Like, he's not in charge of any of the arrangements, you know. He doesn't... He just, he just turns up and parks the car, basically. And <laughs> but he never rings. He did ring me about ten years ago, and my husband came out the back and he goes, Fiona, your dad's on the phone. And I'm like, oh, Mum's dead. You know, that's the kind of... <laughs> Anyway, Deirdre! <laughs> I get scared of saying that name, and she's millions of miles away. Anyway, De oh, but she's got a television. I'm fucked. Um, Deirdre, <laughs> is, there's seven of us, right? Deirdre's the proud mother, and we're all really messed up because she was so scary. She's the proud mother, there's seven of us. She's the proud mother of two alcoholics, three anorexics, two obsessive compulsives, and one complete pain in the ass. Now, I know that adds up to eight, but apparently I double. Um, clearly, I'm not one of the anorexics. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. But I am one of the alcoholics. <laughs> Look, if you don't have an anorexic sister, do get one. They're hilarious. They really are. Um, I like doing this to my anorexic sister. See, at Christmas time in our house, it's like a family this size, you're meeting new people every year. It, it, we all meet and greet in mum and dad's hallway, and the hallway just almost expands. You know, there's new in laws, new fiancés, new babies. I love to eventually spot my anorexic sister behind a pot plant, right? And I love saying this to her Oh, hi, Kate, have you put on a couple of pounds? And just the blind terror in her eyes is more fun than you can poke a sticker. And that's the thing with big families, you've really got to make your own fun. You have, but at this hallway at Mum and Dad's at Christmas, this happened a couple of years ago. It's a true story, right? We're all meeting and greeting in the hallway. Everyone's so excited, you know, we're swapping babies, we haven't seen each other all year. And no kidding, my brother in law picks up a two year old, quite a cute one, and he picks him up and he's got him on his hip and he goes, And who's this little fella? And my sister goes, He's yours, dickhead.